Hello everyone, in this session we will discuss binary adder subtractor. Now this binary adder subtractor will perform binary addition as well as subtraction using a single circuit. So it becomes easier for us to manage addition as well as subtraction. So addition you are knowing that it is a very simple R3 equals to R1 plus R2 and a subtraction is R3 equals to R1 minus R2. But this subtraction operation as you can see R1 minus R2 and as per binary arithmetic we are knowing that the negative numbers can be represented in two's complement form. So what happens over here is R3 is equals to R1 plus R2 complement plus 1. So we can say that the subtraction operation can also be performed using addition. So now you need to remember these two formulas to implement our circuit. Now this, this circuit can be implemented using our full address and we need to add the gate that is exclusive OR gate. So to implement this circuit we would be requiring four full headers as we had taken four full headers. Then as we are knowing that full address requires three inputs. So A, the first input is provided A0, A1, A2 and A3. Now the second input is the output of XOR gate. So the second input is the output of XOR gate as you can see. Now this XOR gate will have two inputs and the first input to this XOR gate is our B. So B0, B1, B2 and B3. And the second input to this XOR gate is what we are providing it to be M input which is a common to all the XOR gates. So M input and this M will decide whether we are performing addition operation or we are performing subtraction operation. And the third input what we need to provide to this full adder is carry. So the same M is given as in carry. So this carry is given to the full adder and the full adder output would be sum and carry. So sum and the carry generated would be propagated to the next full adder. Again this full adder will generate sum and carry would be propagated to the next full adder and so on. But if we are if, if it would be a subtraction operation then instead of sum we would be having difference and instead of carry we would be having a borrow. So let's see how this circuit works. If we provide m to be 0 so if we provide m to be 0 then in that case all the XOR gate will have one fixed input that is 0 and carry C0 is also 0. But what is the another input to this XOR that is B. So as per the truth table of XOR gate if we XOR any value with 0 then it would be same as that value. So as per the truth table of XOR, 0 XOR B0 we would be having B0, 0 XOR B1 we would be having B1, 0 XOR B2 we would be having B2, 0 XOR B3 we would be having B3. So now what we are having is we have fixed input to this full header that is B over here. In carry we have provided zeros because M is providing 0 so carry would be 0. So what the formula becomes? The sum would be a plus b plus 0 which is nothing but a plus b and it is nothing but our addition operation. So by giving the input m to be 0 and c0 becomes 0 so it becomes our normal addition. But let us consider if we provide the value to be 1 to m. So m is 1 so all the input to this XOR gates are 1, 1, 1. Now as per the truth table of XOR gate, if we XOR any value with 1, it will be always the complement of that value. So if we XOR B0 with 1, then it would be B0 dash. If we XOR B1 with 1, it would be B1 dash. If we XOR B2 with 1, it would be B2 dash. If, it will, if we XOR B3 with 1 then it would be B3 dash. So it would be always the complement of what we give as an input to the XOR gate if the second input is 1. You can verify it using the truth table. So what happens over here is if I provide M to B1 then the input to the full adder becomes the complement of B. So what happens A 
plus B complement plus 1 because M is 1 so carry input is 1 so A plus B complement plus 1 is nothing but our subtraction operation so if M is 1 then we are having A plus B complement plus 1 so it is nothing but our subtraction operation so you can see that using a simple XOR gate with some logic change we can have both the operation in a single circuit that is addition and subtraction. So this is what is all about 4-bit adder and subtractor.